Hello Queens, welcome back. Today is Queen and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my actual review and demo featuring the April Curl Kit featuring Derm Organics for Curls. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it down below and I will also put the card up above so that way you guys can click on that link and actually watch my initial unboxing and also the sneak peek for the May Curl Kit as well. So today I just wanted to sit down and kind of just do like a chit chat kind of I guess review and demo. So you guys will actually see me tonight be here with me doing the I mean shampoo and condensed conditioner and then you guys will see me the following morning actually doing my hair. I think I am going to either do a twist out or a wash and go all depending on how I feel tonight and time permitting. It is now 6.20. <laughs> So we are going to just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Derm Organic Curl Cleanser. This is a low lather shampoo. Again, it is sulfate free and paraben free. And I love the packaging. I love the colors. I just love everything about it. It's just like, it's just so inviting and it really just makes me want to use it. It smells so good. You can definitely smell that it has like a berry in it or something like that. What it is an ultra rich cleansing cream. It cleanses by addition. It's 100% sulfate free. It's a frizz control um, shampoo. It's made with panth. It's made with panthaplex. It's a color safe pH balance 4.5 to 5.5 shampoo cleanser, and it is organic. It's 70% total organic content. So it says all of these wonderful things on the back of it. So we're going to go ahead and start with this curl cleanser. I pre pulled using my Botanical Bliss um, <laughs> Stimulating pre poo Oil. And you guys know I love that oil. And recently I went to the Mississippi Natural Hair Expo. And you guys, I just love that pre poo Oil. It is phenomenal. So let's see here. Oh, so it is an actual... Okay, it's kind of separated. But it is of a white consistency. So that is the shampoo. And I'm just going to put this all over my twist. And I found last week when I was washing my hair in the shower. Oh my gosh, you guys. This shampoo smells so freaking good. Uh, it smells so freaking good. It smells so good. And it's so soft on the hair too. But... Back to what I was saying, I find that I like to do my hair in twists now when I'm washing my hair. It just cuts down on the detangling time. And this shampoo is building up, I mean it's breaking down all of that oil I had on my hair. But it's not stripping my hair either. So, I hope you guys can see that. It feels really, really nice on the scalp. So I'm just going to continue with the rest of this. And I'm just going to continue this on the rest of my head. And I just decided that I wanted to sit down and do this with you guys. Because I guess I just miss sitting down talking with you guys. Because sometimes the voiceovers get old. the derm organic curl cleanser and it is and it is a low lather shampoo and you guys i really do like it i like the way that it smells i like the way that it feels and again um i would probably use this more so on a weekly basis you could probably use this twice a week i would i would probably use this twice a week if that's how good it feels on the scalp it really does feel good okay you guys so after rinsing out the low lather cleanser i must say my scalp feels really good it feels really really clean um it didn't leave my hair moisturized it did not feel stripped whatsoever so it's one of those shampoo cleansers where it's kind of like a conditioner but it still has like a cleansing agent in it so i really do like it um again it is sulfate free and it is color safe and this is the curl cleanser it is a low lather shampoo and this is from derm organics 
but we are now fixing to move on into the curl conditioner and this is the ultra moisturizing curl conditioner for curly hair again it has the exact same ingredients as the um curl cleanser so oh and another thing too about the um curl cleanser is that it is a very thick cleanser like i was fighting to get it out of this bottle so hopefully i'm not going to have the same problem because also too i just realized that this is a white package and not the actual product itself so you can't really see if the product is pumping out of the bottle or not all right so again this is the curl conditioner and we're fixing to get ready to use that now see some of my twists um came down but that's fine because i'm fixing to now create them into chunky twists so that's even better because honestly there's no point in keeping them this small now but my hair as you can see is very defined so that's good like usually when your hair is very receptive to a product it will stay you know clumped up it will be very you know you'll have clumpage and i'm definitely seeing Bitch. I like that so yeah this is a really nice product oh my hair smells really good and um yeah so I'm just going to take these down now that my hair has gotten a lot longer I just like to actually keep my hair in the twist and this really helps especially while I'm in the shower so okay so let's go ahead and get this conditioner on all right here we go all right now this is a little bit lighter consistency the other one was very very they, oh oh and this is very creamy this is like very lightweight creamy it's like a, um it's very you can tell it's very hydrating oh yes you guys know i love conditioners i love conditioners so if it's gonna let it sit on my hair for probably like 30 minutes this product is really nice you guys like it's really ooh, i like how it feels the scent it smells so good It's not really giving me slip I guess I don't know it's not really giving me slip I guess sometimes you have to work the product into your hair you guys too sometimes it's a trick you sometimes just lay the product on top but my hair is clumping up it seems to like it a lot <laughs> honestly but let me know you guys if you like these kind of videos you know too you know if you like for me to just Kind of like sometimes chit chat and talk about the product while I'm actually using it. But I like how this product is feeling on my hair. I like how it's feeling on my hair but it really didn't have a lot of slip. I guess for my comb to glide through. Because usually child that comb would have been sliding through if it had a lot of slip. I'm just, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. If a product has a lot of slip my comb and especially with my hair it's just going to fall through. Now in the back, <clears throat> in the back I keep it just as it is. Oh my gosh. I just, you know, you look back, you, you guys, like, I look back at my old videos and I'm like, I cannot believe how long my hair has gotten. Because, I mean, again, that's the whole point of why I began on this YouTube journey, you know, natural hair journey, is that, <laughs> you know, to document my own natural hair journey, you guys. And... I just look back at some of these videos and I'm just like, I cannot believe my hair. I cannot believe my hair grew this long, like to where it is now. It's like it's just amazing, but it just it just shocks me, you guys. As you guys can see, my hair really does like it as well. So my hair is really clumped up.
guys and good morning so so it's the next day and it is 5 39 in the morning yes i get started very early going into the work week especially if i didn't finish my hair the night before so <laughs> that's the scenario today i did not finish my hair last night as i had more as i had told you guys I said more likely i'll probably get up the next morning and just go ahead and start on um, the rest of my head so that's what i'm getting ready to do now i think i'm going to go for a wash and go today just simply because i just want something quick and simple and to the point it's too late in the morning now to actually be trying to do like mini twists because of the time so usually when i press the time that's when i'll go ahead and i'll do a wash and go so following up from yesterday we're still with the april curl kit featuring derma organic curls and I'm going to be using the curl cream. It's to separate and define for bounce and shine. So um, we're gonna see how that works. And I'm gonna go in with the super curling gel followed behind that. Now some places I'm gonna try with oil in between as my O and then I'm gonna see actually how it is receptive on the hair. Cause sometimes with collections, it's just best to use the leave-in and whatever other kind of styling product that they give you versus trying to incorporate an actual oil. So we're fixing to get ready to try that. One thing I know for sure, my hair is super, super, super soft. This reminds me of if I had used Cream of Nature or Shea Moisture's um, deep conditioner, and I actually used the, um, I actually did use the curl conditioner as a deep conditioner last night. I did not rinse it out, and I like the way that my hair actually feels today. So you can actually get away with using that as a deep conditioner. Okay, so now I'm fixing to just go in and mist my hair with some water because apparently it started drying out underneath the shower cap. And I tried to do this again on soaking damp hair because with my washing goes now, I find my hair likes to be very, 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 very wet. Yeah, so I'm just going to try to work some of this water in. There we go. Alright, curls are clumping. All right, so we're gonna go in with the curl cream again. This is to separate and define. This is what it looks like. Um, now, just from filling it, it is a little liquidy. It is like a lightweight leave-in. So we're gonna see how this actually works because um, I usually like a heavy leave-in for when I am actually going to be doing a wash and go. But I think that's why the gel may be the way it is. So I'm just going to use a little bit more of the curl cream. And I like the way it feels on my hair. It makes your hair really soft. It really does melt to the hair. It smells so good though. That's, what I, that's another thing that I like about it. It smells so good. I know I'm having some kind of, having a little bit of frizz though. Because I didn't completely rinse my hair with cool water. I am noticing that so got a little frizz going on okay so now we're gonna just take a little bit of oil you guys know I'm kind of skeptical when it comes to my wash and goes because when I do a wash and go I don't want to have to actually go back in and try to refresh the wash and go I just want to actually just be kind of done with it <laughs> so all right take my texture pro brush and just make sure everything's evenly distributed yeah so the leave-in is a lightweight oil honestly i prefer a heavyweight oil all right so now we're going to go on with the super cur curling gel and it is a gel you guys know how i feel about gels i kind of am on the fence about them you know i i don't know i just i don't know it's just because when i use gels they just flake up on my hair so bad and yeah see yeah see like i'm having the little balls even now i have the little balls so see this isn't gonna work i can't i can't use the hair gel it's because uh, when it starts to bob on my hair like that it's just not gonna work so i'll use the curling cream I'll use the curling cream, but I definitely cannot use that hair gel. I cannot use it because that's already balled up and flaked on my hair. And I can't walk around like that. So, I'm going to continue with actually going in with doing my hair, you guys. So, I will continue continue using the curl cream, but 
As far as the super curling gel, I cannot use it. It's, it's balling up on my hair. Um, yeah, so you guys will just see me continue with the rest of my wash day process because I had to finish getting ready for work. So again, I am doing a wash and go, but I'm going to have to substitute the actual hair gel. Alright you guys, so this is my hair after applying the actual curl cream and then I am using a different curl defining cream because again I can't use the gel, it's creating little balls and flakes on my hair. Um, so yeah, so I do like how my hair is clumping up after using the actual curl cream you guys and I do like the actual curl cleanser and I love the actual conditioner as well. Again, I did use the conditioner overnight as a deep conditioner. I love the way that it left my hair feeling really soft and hydrated. Creams that will give my hair a lot of definition because honestly, the leave-in conditioners is what gives your hair a lot of definition. And then the curling cream just helps to enhance that. That's just my theory behind that. Alright y'all, then I'm just going in with another curl defining cream unfortunately. But y'all, I would definitely recommend getting the shampoo and the conditioner. Like, if you don't get anything else, definitely pick up the shampoo and conditioner. Because as you guys can see, my hair is very defined. And honestly, a lot of people forget about the actual wash day process. But that too makes a big difference in the actual, you know, styling process of your hair. Whether your hair is going to be very smooth or whether it's going to be frizzy and as you guys can see my hair is a little bit frizzy at the roots because again I didn't rinse my hair on completely cool water like I typically do because I was in a little hurry this morning to get out the shower because <laughs> I like to take long showers y'all and I have to make sure I get out of there in time so I can get ready for work <laughs> so all right so this is what the size looks like for the most part I'm loving how my hair is feeling my hair feels very 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 light that's one thing that I have noticed. My hair feels very light and moisturized at the same time. Like, I can't really, that's really the only way that I can explain it. So, I do like this curl kit that we received for the month of April. Again, unfortunately, I wasn't able to use the gel because my hair was just not having it. So, I will see you guys towards the end. Alright you guys, so these are the results after using the curly cream, yeah the curl cream, and then I did go in with a different curl defining cream, but I do like the Derm Organics curl cream because it is very, very lightweight. I like how my hair actually does, I feel my hair has a little bit more definition in the front today than anything else, because typically um, in the front I usually have a lot more frizz. And I still do right here and right here. I always do in those sections. But for the most part, I really do like how my hair feels. It's very lightweight. I can say that my hair is very lightweight and similar to um, when I'm using the Clump and Curl Gel from Dark and Lovely. But this collection, though, I know my hair is very big, too. <laughs> it's, like, really, really big. So, um, it's now 6.30. I'm fixing to get dressed for work, undo Alexa's hair, and then later on um, this afternoon when I get home, I will actually share with you guys what my hair looks like completely and fully dried. Hey, you guys. So, now it is after work. My hair is fully and completely dried. Let me tell you guys, I love how light and fluffy my hair feels like my hair has just like shrunken up so much since using the products the only downside to it was just that i could not use the actual gel and you guys know i always struggle with gels it's just like my hair just does not like gels like and i've come to find though with not liking just the regular um i guess alcohol not alcohol based gels um, that my hair does like the cream gel so you guys know I do like the dark and lovely 
clay clamping cream gel that I did receive in a curl kit a couple months back. For the most part, I did like this overall collection from Derm Organics, you guys. Like, definitely get your hands on it. If you have not gotten your hands on it, you may want to. But for those of you guys who are wanting to try out this actual Derm Organics collection, I have an announcement. I somehow received two of them and I guess because I had already paid for one and then they sent me one so it's no need for me to have a whole second um, curl kit for the Derm Organics Curls Takeover for the month of April. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to do a simple giveaway over on my Instagram account. I will have all the details listed over there. Um, so that way if you want to enter to win the curl kit for the month of April, then that's how you'll be able to enter to win. So head over to my Instagram, you guys, and make sure that you are actually following me on Instagram. And that's it. That's my only request. Just make sure you follow me on Instagram and comment done underneath the graphic post and i will post another graphic for you guys to actually comment under but this giveaway will strictly be featured on instagram so if you're wanting to win this curl kit you have to make sure that you're following me over on instagram and then comment done down below on the actual giveaway graphic itself so i'll do the giveaway like i did before it will last a week so you have a week to enter so good luck to all of you beautiful queens out there but for the most part you guys i'm loving how my hair turned out 